Another option for output to PNG would be to go to File, Export, and then choose Export As. This will take us to a dedicated dialog box and we get a preview of the artwork in here. Now Photoshop will want to steer us in the right direction. So it has picked JPEG as the far format in here. And then you'll see that over on the left hand side, it shows us the dimensions of the artwork and it gives us a predictive file size. That is much lower than PNG. But I'll come to JPEG in another video. If I click on the drop down menu and choose PNG, He'll notice that again, it shows us as before that this is going to be output as a four megabyte PNG file, same size. But if I turn off the transparency checkbox because it's not required, it will drop it down to again, the same kind of file size we saw with the other option. But if you turn on smaller file size, what this will do is instead of using a full range of colors to articulate that artwork, it will downgrade the number of colors used to a maximum of 256. Now this will affect the quality of your artwork. So it's dropped the file size down to 1.1 megabytes. However, if I zoom in here, but if I just make this dialog box bigger, like so, and then zoom in, this is going to cause you to lose some quality in the artwork in here. So that is just something to bear in mind. Yes, it will reduce the file size, but we're going to lose, we're going to lose a lot of quality in here, particularly around the edges. Notice the details around here. We've also got banding in the sky as well, because there aren't enough colors to articulate that lovely smooth light blue to a darker blue in the image as well. You'll notice over here, then we have options to change this to copyright and contact information. That's good. That's something that we changed in the previous video and it will convert it to sRGB as well. Um, you don't need to embed the color profile. Um, this color space will just be added and uh, that will be enough. When I'm done, I can click on export. It'll ask me which folder to save it in. I'll jump back to the output folder. And again, from here, I'll call this cycle tour export as, and then click on save. And in Adobe Bridge, you will find that the newly exported file, cycle to export as, is at a file size of 1.13 megabytes, and it has included the copyright information as well. Now, file size is just one barometer of quality, of course. So I'll open all three of these images. And we'll compare them side by side in Adobe Photoshop compared to the original PSD to see how they visually stand up. And as you can see here, side by side in a four up view, I have the original PSD in the far left hand side. Just to the right of that, we have the very first quick export PNG, then the modified one, and then finally the one that we've just exported through export as. I've got my zoom tool active, but I've turned on the zoom all windows checkbox in the options bar so that when I hover over one of the windows and zoom in, they'll all zoom in accordingly. The most noticeable change from the original to any one of the PNGs is the color. Uh, that's a symptom of going from our much richer and more varied Adobe RGB to the lower quality sRGB. And, and the reason for that is, well, it's for consistency. Web browsers will preview the RGB colors in your images as sRGB. And that is why we've exported to sRGB so that when you are exporting from Photoshop, you get a true sense of what that would look like on the web. But the thing that I'm most concern really is the image we previously exported, we chose to export as a 8-bit PNG. Now, in reducing the file size, we have had to remove some of the colors. And in fact, that last export was limited to a maximum of 256 different types of colors to articulate every color in the image. The downside comes then when you look at the graduated sky in the original, that blends far better than the one that we exported to PNG last. There aren't the colors in that image to articulate all those subtle blues. And it will use a technique called dithering, where if it doesn't have the colors available to articulate all those changes in the blues of the sky, it will pick what colors it does have available and it will create almost kind of a pixelated pattern of colors to simulate that. But whilst it was great that we could reduce the physical file size down so low, we have uh, really kind of compromised on the quality of our images. If you're going to use photographic content and export for the web, PNG 8-bit is likely to give you a lower quality than you're looking for in many cases. But in the next video, we'll take a look at how we can remedy this.